and welcome to another episode of Success Coaching for a Better World. My name, Coach Manny Nowak, and it's always my pleasure to be here and to try to help you to move to that place that you want to get to, to get to outstanding. If you want to find us, we're on the web. There's the website. There's the phone number. Feel free to call us. If we can help you, we will. So, how did you do this week? Today I want to talk about if you don't control your time, guess who it's going to control? Help! I need more time as we go into part two of this series. How did you do this week? Did you take something that we talked about last week and did you use it? Are you enjoying life more? Are you implementing one thing? Did you implement one thing that we talked about last week? Or did you just ignore it all and continue down that path that you were going? Today we're going to continue our discussion on time management and we're going to get deeper and deeper into you. Because as I've told you since the beginning, it's not about a book. It's not about filling out forms. Time management is about changing the way you operate. And that's what we're going to get into tonight. And I want to start with a little poem that I want to share with you. And here it is. Listen. The clock is my dictator. I shall not rest. It makes me lie down only when I'm exhausted. It leads me into deep depression. It hounds my soul. It leads me in circles of frenzy for activity's sake. Even though I run frantically from task to task, I'm never going to get it all done. My ideal is with me. Deadlines and my need for approval drown me. They, de they determine performance from me, or they demand performance from me. Beyond the limits of my schedule, they anoint my head with migraines, my in-basket overflows, surely fatigue and time pressures shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the band of frustration forever. Now, if that doesn't wake you up, nothing will. Let us look at today's list. The number one thing that you have to do is you have to take control of your time. Forget everything you've been taught. Forget all the crap out there about time can't be this and time can't be that. You need to control your time. That 24-7, 365 that you get, you need to control it. For only you can do it. Number two, forget the small stuff. How many of us get wrapped up, oh, I'm going to spend today cleaning up all this little junk. And what is that going to accomplish? Is it going to make you more successful? What's going to happen at the end of the day? That's going to happen. The things that create the greatest success will have been ignored for another day. This is where you need to be. Doing the things that create the greatest success. That's where you need to be. Those are the things you need to work on. The rest, it'll drive you crazy. Sometimes it'll frustrate you. But guess what? If you're doing this, you will be successful. Number three. Priorities. Time management is all about priorities. Most people who can't get anything done, it's not that they're not doing anything. I know people that are working 16 to 18 hours a day. And they're totally frustrated because they're doing the wrong things. Do the most important things. When you get up tomorrow, I want you to say, what are the most important things that I should be doing today? And I want you to do them. This is not rocket science. It is not that complex. I know it drives most of us crazy, 
But get your priorities right. Work on the right thing and watch what happens. The fourth thing is live wisely and well and do the right things. We've forgotten that, I think, to a great extent. Do the right things. We do so much. We try to do everything. And where does the right thing fall in? Does it get bypassed? Is it left behind? Is it ignored? If you're spending your time doing the right things, you will be successful. Number five. And I want to read another story for you. And I usually don't like to pick up paper because I used to get crap about be doing this, but I wanted to read this story for you. And it actually comes from the 4-Hour Work Week. It's an excellent book. I tell you to rec I recommend that you read it. Here's a story. John, I'd love to talk to you about the gapping void I feel in my life. The hopelessness that hits me like a punch in the eye every time I start my computer in the morning. But I've just got too much to do. I've got at least three hours of unimportant emails to reply to before calling prospects who said no yesterday. Now, where does that hit you? Right here? Yeah, right there. Because why? What are we doing? Do you know that if you got rid of all the unimportant emails in your life. You'd only have 10% left to deal with. Now, I know that sounds a little crazy. And I know that you're wondering, how am I going to do that? Well, even if you don't have an assistant, even if you don't have any help, you can still do it. The filters built into your email system start getting rid of those emails because those worthless emails, not just do they take time to get rid of, no, that's not the big killer. It's the, oh, this looks interesting. Let me click here. Oh, look at this. And I go here. Bam. One hour every day, this will save you. Five hours a week, 200 hours a year at a minimum. 200 hours. That's five weeks. What could I do with five weeks? Could I go on vacation? Number six. I've recently had a chance to spend some time, not in, but visiting, in the hospitals. And it's amazing. If you go to any major city in America, to a cardiac unit, and you look in there, you will find young people. And, you know, young is all relative, I understand. But who have gotten so stressed out that they've got a heart attack, that they've broke down. Why? Because they haven't taken time for Y-O-U. And I'm going to stress to you the criticalness of taking time for you. Because if you don't take the time, you will be made to take the time and you won't like it. If you think you don't have time for exercise, when you have a heart attack, Afterwards, you will exercise. Why not exercise now? People say, well, I don't have time. 30 minutes. Take 30 minutes and take time to think and go for a walk every day. And what's going to happen? You're probably going to live six to eight years longer. Number seven. Do your best. Did we forget about this? Do things right and always do them the best we can. I think in today's world, we have forgotten a lot about that. Now, the question you're going to ask is, what has this got to do with time management, Manny? This has everything to do. If you combine what I gave you today with what we gave you last week, then you can start working on those plans and those books and everything else. Take control of your time. Do the things that create the greatest success. Do the most important things. Focus and priority. Do the right things. Dump 90% of those emails. Take time for you. Keep your health at a high level. And do your best. And if you can, again, do one of these this week. Just one. That will give you two things. Now you have another 12 weeks to do the other 12. And you will then be amazed 
at what your life looks like. When you get your time under control, you don't have all that stress. You don't have all that stuff. It's Coach Manny. I'm here to help you create a better world and to create an outstanding, successful life and business. Get your time under control. Get this off your stress list and watch what happens. Let me give you that website. Oh, it's going away. There it is. ManyNoack.com. There's the phone number. 856-358-4021. Give us a call. It's time. You got your time under control. You see, I'll leave you with this. Tomorrow may never come. What are you doing today?